Well, my YouTube peeps, this is my year end, sorry, month end review for the month of August. So let's see what goodies I've gotten here. I will separate them up by real and fake, and let's see which one outweighs the other. Okay, my YouTube peeps, I've separated it up between real and fake. That's the real stack. That's the fake stack. So let's see what goodies we got that are fake. Keep in mind, I ordered these so I can show you the actual images of what the property looks like. So in case you ever come across the coins that look like certain coins in here, you know to actually keep them. First one, a chubby block. Good old 1948 Benjamin Half Dollar. I mean, I did a video about him. Uh, nowhere on this Benjamin Half Dollar does it say he's fake. But I do suspect that it is fake because, you know, it just doesn't weigh right. For as good conditions in, it weighs under. So I'm suspecting it's a fake. Then we got... Let me flip over. <laughs> this beautiful fake right here is the Liberty Gold... $100 coin this actually is fake for many reasons because a real coin like this would cost around about $3,000 and the amount I paid for it didn't even come close so it's a fake well that and most likely chances that you know the little mark right there below my finger and that little mark below my other finger sure you can fakes, but as far as authenticity goes, there is actually coins out there that have that beautiful picture right on it, so, and they're very expensive. Okay, next one up on chopping block. This um, Liberty Gold Bullion coin is supposed to be one troy ounce of fine silver, which we need to find out that it's not because we put it the magnet test. All the fake ones we put the magnet test. All the real ones too, the one safe side. So the only coins that should really stick to a uh, magnet will be the steel pennies. But besides the fact it's being fake, I mean, it is a very beautiful picture that they have on the back of it. I mean, I like that, that's really nice. It depicts America, the strong, the free. So yes, I do like this coin. It, this bullion piece is actually really nice. It was fake. The picture is wonderful. Then we got this one. This $100 gold bullion coin is what it's called. It is supposed to be 24 karat gold. Trust me, it's not. And the amount of money I paid for it as well says that it's not. And the fact that when you pop, when you uh, do the magnet test on this bad boy, it sticks. <laughs> the next is this beautiful Walking Liberty coin 2018. That's been painted. She's very beautiful. Has the American flag on front, Confederate flag on back. Also, magnet test failed. But like I keep saying, I don't buy these replicas just because I know they're replicas. I buy them to give you guys content, and I also do like what the pictures they depict on. So we got the next one right here. Uh, some some of the gun. I forget which was called. Uh, I forgot which was called. <laughs> but nonetheless, it's still a very beautiful coin. These coins actually do exist. I s saw somewhere online that a real coin like this from I think 1880. As in pristine condition, sold for $7.7 .7 million. So, so if you ever get one of these and they're legit, you got to just sit on a bank note, guaranteed. Next one. More conservative dollars do exist. This 1890... 1830 or 1880, I can't see what it is. 
um, is actually a fake. Uh, the reason being is if you watched the video about this exact dollar, you saw that I actually stuck this under a toothbrush with hot water and Don dish soap, and I washed off all the antiquing at the front of it. In fact, that's what it looked like as far as antiquing at the front of it goes. But, I mean, it looks 100% like a real, legitimate silver dollar. Even though, after you wash the antiquing off, it's still a very beautiful silver dollar, even though it's a fake. Now we got this trade dollar, which I also, I should wash these up so they actually look a lot better, but this is a trade dollar. They actually do exist. Trade dollars are nowadays very, very expensive. And I just, you notice with every coin I show you, there's gonna be an eagle on the back of it depicting it somehow or another. Same thing with the Benjamin Franklin, but see this coin and the other coins and protectors like this, except for that uh, gold hundred dollars and the painted silver dollar, were all uh, magnet tested. These one, this one, and the previous ones I showed you, the Morgan, the the one with the bosom, um, so that one right there does not stick. That one does not stick. This one does not stick. So they pass the magnet test, but they're they're fake. We know that. But this coin does exist, the trade dollar, and it's worth I think like two three thousand dollars just for the trade dollar in reduced condition. But we know that's a fake. Next up is this one. We can guarantee you. <laughs> That's not a real coin. I bought that because I actually enjoyed the picture that was depicted on it. I thought that was really nice. I mean, the back of it looks like a legitimate silver dollar. But I guarantee you we're not going to put any silver dollars like that into circulation. Because I don't think the, pop the female population would actually appreciate them being depicted in that manner. That also passed the magnet test. Now the best one we got, which was an obvious fake, I bought it, I mean, it is made, uh, minted by the Golden State Mint, it is one troy ounce fine silver, it is at the VDB on the back, and on the front of it, flip them over, it is 1909S, okay, more about this penny. This penny is actually a legitimate penny. I mean, it's silver, yes. But they actually do have a 1909 S penny that has the, is a weak penny and says a VDB here at the bottom. If you find those, um, they're actually worth, I think, about $145,000, depending on the condition and the grade. But I bought this one because it's actually one ounce of fine silver depicting a penny I would love to have. And so let's give it a good view of what we have. So you got those that are all fake. I mean, this is real silver, but otherwise, I still like that one. That one's actually really nice. So next on the chopping block is the real ones we found. Let's see what we got.